Monique Sounders and Galaxy trading goals and punches. We got the highlights for you. Plus, the M's needing to come from behind today to beat the Twins. Sports coming up next. Back to the studio. Here's Matt Biondi. John, thanks. We have a solid show lined up for you tonight on the Detroit Sports Report, and it comes your way right after the final out in the ball game at Comerica. And that's Bobby Labonte talking to us about 15 minutes ago. Paul, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Dale Earnhardt Jr. with a sizable lead, and then just moments ago, Ken Schrader smacked him to the back stretch, causing the uh, sixth caution of the night. So the field was backed up to Dale Jr. Well, then Dale Jr. again with that incredible machine now a sizable lead on lap 331 over Matt Kenseth. We'll bring it back a little bit later on. Now we'll throw it back to you. Welcome to the Northwest Sports Report. He's Troy Hirsch. I'm Matt Biondi. An absolute riveting next 60 minutes of sports television. For the students who work at the golf course at Glen Mills, their lives are being forever changed. <laughs> It's a golf course that's surrounded by rolling hills. And just beyond it is a school that has defined it. Less than a mile apart in distance, but worlds apart according to society. My name's Enika Bunch from my crime was selling our cats. Antoine Green, arm robbery. 14-year-old, crime robbery, residential burglary. The crime I committed was selling narcotics. Ian Kabunja from South Philly was arrested for selling drugs. But now, after spending 13 months at the Glen Mills School, where troubled youth are given one more chance, he says he's a changed person. Because when I came, I really didn't have nothing to really live for. I was just trying to do little selfish things, looking out for myself, not my family. I just wanted to sell drugs and, and disrespect people out in the world. I didn't have much care for life, but now that I came here, I actually succeeded. I got my GED. Ian, along with 71 other boys from the school, have earned the privilege to work on the golf course at Glen Mills. The program started as a way to teach discipline and responsibility. It's taught me a lot, you know what I'm saying? It taught me how I work, work with older peers, you know, people uh, around me and everything like that. It taught me a lot of um, getting me ready for a job out there. The students learn the basics of golf course maintenance. It's a job that brings with it a commitment that begins at 5.30 a.m. In a six-month period, we teach, we bring these kids from barely able to drive a golf cart to driving a very high sophisticated uh, tractor or any kind of piece of equipment. It is here at the Glen Mills schools where more than 900 young men are basically being rescued from themselves. All types of crimes, all types of goals. Everything is made of cells, yes. And those goals for many are to find a vocation like golf course maintenance that can be used once they leave the school. It also teaches other skills. Before, I had a little anger problem, and ever since I came up here, I could never really talk to people, be socially interactive. Ever since I came up here, worked at the golf course, I could talk to more people. You know, I feel good that a lot of golfers don't even know that they're juvenile delinquents. It's the fact that they're the first people you meet out here, the fact that they're the golfers are playing a top 100 golf course maintained by our students, and a lot of people don't know that. It's a new experience. I mean... If I was out there, I wouldn't, I really wouldn't be having no job or nothing. Somehow the two worlds have come together to become the perfect fit. Welcome back everyone. The birds deciding to celebrate Halloween early today, dressing up as football players. And then it got real spooky. Eagles and Broncos, another disastrous opening quarter. Opening drive, Mike Anderson, touchdown run, 7-0 Denver. Donovan never looking so bad so early. Oh, for his first 12 passes. The offense completely out of sync. T.O. wasn't happy. Broncos then third and goal already, 14-0. Jake Plummer, Rod Smith for the score. One of those telling stats. Eagles outscored 62-14 in the first quarter of the season. 21-0. Plummer spots the tight end, Steven Alexander. Spectacular catch. Eagles defense with no answers. Eagles finally waking up before halftime. Hey, guys, we got a game to play. Donovan, LJ, 28-7. Birds come out in the second half, and this just 
in. We have a football pulse. Donovan Teo. And then the veteran wideout does the rest. Jukes Champ Bailey along the sidelines. Speed kills. 91 to the end zone. Eagles trailing 28-14. Oh, Teo's fired up saying hello to all his Denver fans. Owens, three catches, 154 yards. Bird's offense suddenly in sync. McNabb, Brian Westbrook, the Nova star, doing the rest. Tumbles into the end zone. We have a football game, 28-21. But then the play that seals it for Denver. Jim Johnson gambles with the blitz. Completion to Todd DeVoe. Shakes a tackle. Eagles are buried, 49-21. Another loss or a chilling example of maybe things to come. Eagles talked about the setback. I have no answers for you guys, man. NFC East matchup, Giants and Skins, third quarter, Giants naming the score, Eli to Shockey, that's the big tight end, he's smelling six, 19-nothing New York. Giants not done, Tiki this, Tiki Barber blows through the defense, how about 206 yards rushing, Giants in first place, 36-nothing win. Check in with the boys. Dallas and Arizona, second half. Cowboys defense making noise. Anthony Henry with the pick. He reverses direction. Henry picks up some blocks downfield. How about 58 to the end zone? Cowboys win 34-13, now 5-3 on the season. After being much too generous on Friday by giving up eight goals, Flyers hoping to return the favor tonight. Flyers skating at Ottawa. First period, no score. Watch the two-man game. Jeff Carter, Patrick Sharp, return pass and goal. Good stuff, one nothing Flyers. This time, the Flyer goalies protecting the neighborhood. Robert Esch denies the Senators. Second period, 3-2 Flyers. Power play. Watch the patience. Michael Hanzus, he feeds John Sim for the goal. Flyers go on for the impressive 5-3 win. Sixers at the Wyckovia Center today, tuning up for Tuesday's opener versus the Milwaukee Bucks. Moe's got the guys running, the second-year man, Andre Iguodala, on the transition. But missing is the big fella, Samuel Dallenberg, and his absence will be felt. That's sports. Uh, Jim, back to you. One, two, and three. What do you think? Release form, what you need. Good. That's where, you know, just Take make sure you get your legs in. Heads. It is. The touchdown was a nice toss, nice toss. See the scramble and able to get his body into the throw, right? That was perfect. That was perfect. I'm, in the wrong business, man. I'm telling you, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, number one, yeah.